Loading. Welcome to Access the Animus. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on Access the Animus. Today we're going to go through several new pieces of information dedicated to the newly announced Manhua Assassin's Creed Dynasty. We're not just going to discuss the info that have been shared at the announcement though, not at all. In fact, in this two-part video we're going to showcase the news about the Manhua that we were able to obtain through our own translation of several articles in Chinese and most of the visual assets that have been published in the past days. Through them we're going to have a much better understanding not only of the context but also of the main characters of the graphic novel and how some of them are tied to Chinese legends and literature, the assassins and tempers that appear in the comic, or better the hidden ones and the members of the Order of the Ancients, and even a few bits about the pieces of Eden that might factor in in the story. And if that's not enough, at the end of the second part of the video we might even be able to share a tiny surprise connected to the Manhua. Thus, jump in and follow us in our journey to China, we have a lot to discuss. Before we start, a few words of warning. Most of the translations we did relied on machine translation and additional software, but we've added some research of our own to support our findings to make sure they are solid enough. Still, some inaccuracies might have slipped through, so please bear with us. Also, as we'll delve into several aspects concerning the Manhua, its setting and culture that are not always commonly known, we're going to provide several links in the description of the video in case you want to know more, but do feel free to ask us additional questions in the comments if you need any kind of clarification. So, let's start from the basics. Assassin's Creed Dynasty is a Manhua, that is a Chinese comic, or in this case a web comic, produced by Ubisoft and Jin Manhua, that will be out on August the 26th and will be released bi-weekly. Some articles also mention that the Manhua will be released in China first and subsequently around the world, in order to quote-unquote give the world a glimpse of the rich Chinese history, though any additional Western release date hasn't been provided yet. As mentioned in a few articles released through the Chinese press, the creative team behind the Manhua has worked for two years to examine historical facts, customs, human conditions, military equipment and costumes of the time and also visited the Xi'an area to collect materials for verification. They also invited Meng Xianxi, a historian and professor at Renmin University of China, to consult and personally verify the work on the Manhua, in order to represent the actual Tang Dynasty style, and this is kind of unusual, as most of the Assassin's Creed transmedia releases don't have a dedicated historian. Illustrated by Zhu Zhangtze and Zhang Shao, the comic will present a canon story within the Assassin's Creed universe set in 755 AD in China during the Tang Dynasty, the so-called Prosperous Keiyuan period and the Anlus Shan Rebellion, but to have a better idea of the general context of the manga and the first info about how it ties into the assassin element of the story, we can have a look at the synopsis provided by eyingdi.com. The ancient war between freedom and order found a new stage during the prosperous Tang dynasty. In 755 AD a civil war broke out in the dynasty. General An Lushan developed a splinter faction from the Golden Turtles forces called Yeluahe and rebelled in order to fight for the position of emperor. The imperial court under the control of the leader of the Golden Turtles, Yang Guozong, was unable to quell the rebellion as there was turmoil and chaos within the population. Assassin Li E and the family of loyalist official Yang Zhenqing allied to fight and turn the tide, and eventually led to a generation of master assassins, establishing the predecessor of the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins, the Hidden Ones. That more or less gives us the context of the Manhua while also introducing our main character and assassin, or shall we say Hidden One, Li E. But while we'll delve into the cast and characters descriptions in the second part of this video, right now we'd like to share with you a few of the promotional pictures for the Manhua that we have translated. Fair warning though, we'd like to give a shout out to the Assassin's Creed Wiki as they also translated the promotional media for the Manhua. 
we have done our work independently so there might be some discrepancies between our work and the wikis but there's also a positive element to it as the information in common between our translations will be more than likely to be correct. Let's start with this artwork. In this picture we can find the outline of an assassin in a very classic position that is overlooking the streets from the roofs, showcasing that at least the Assassin's Creed transmedia doesn't shy away from its roots even in its early promotional material. What's even more interesting in this picture is its tagline, which mentions that the manhua will also feature female assassins, another thing that the transmedia release doesn't seem to shy away from in its early promotion. Next is this artwork, which showcases two characters overlooking a city. The tagline, according to our translation, mentions two men or two male main characters, even though some other promotional material showcase the male main character and another female assassin, as we'll see in the second part of this video. The interesting bit in this picture is the line that compares the two men to heroes boiling green plums. That is actually a reference to the Chinese culture as green plum wine is a classic Chinese beverage with a history that goes back to the Three Kingdoms period. More specifically, the tagline is referencing a historical novel by writer Luo Guanzong called Romance of the Three Kingdoms, where two of its characters, Cao and Liu Bei, the founder of the Shu Han Kingdom, sit down to discuss contemporary heroes while boiling green plums to brew wine. The next artwork is pretty straightforward and it's showing some of the action scenes that will take place in the manhua. What's interesting in here, as mentioned by the wiki too, is the Saracen Arab attire shown by one of the warriors in the foreground, which may be a reference to one of the 4000 mercenaries from the Abbasid territories that the Tang dynasty hired to repress the anglo shang rebellion. Lastly, we have this art, which mostly displays the people who worked on the manhua, but also showcases the maxim, nothing is true, everything is permitted, a tagline that has been missing from the games for years now. The art also shows another perspective of Li E, our main character, and it's exactly from Li E that we're going to start the second part of our video news dedicated to Assassin's Creed Dynasty, which will showcase an overview of the cast of the Manhua and a focus on the historical context, along with the first information about the Assassins, Tempers, and First Civilization elements of the story, and the tiny surprise at the end of it. But until then, these were the Dynasty news that we were able to share with you at the moment. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on so you don't miss the second part of this report. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.